Hello guys, I'm Tristan Lambert and today, well, I found 10 things you should never do in the UK. As I'm from the UK, I thought, let's see what I shouldn't do in the UK. Judging by the like to dislike ratio, I think this video is extremely accurate. So, let's get right into this video. Number 1. Calling the United Kingdom England Okay, that's understandable. Americans are quite bad at geography. Well, according to these videos at least. Before you take the flight to anywhere in the UK, know its full form. So, before you begin your sentence with, England's landscapes are... Confirm that you really are in England, and not Scotland, which is a separate country. Still would be quite hilarious if someone did confuse Scotland with England. England's landscapes are so beautiful, aren't they? This isn't England, we're in Glasgow. Oh shit! I thought this was London! <laughs> Number two, ask if they know the Queen. <laughs> what? 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 Americans visiting slash living in the UK are just gonna go up to a random British person and be like, Oi mate, do you know the Queen? Obviously the answer is most likely gonna be, Fuck no! Because most people would know that just because he's British doesn't mean you personally know the Queen. How would you feel if some tourist in the US asked if you knew Donald Trump? You'd call that person plain stupid for assuming that everyone breathing the US air knows the President. So how do you expect people in the UK to personally know the royal family? I bet they don't, mate. Or at least most people don't. Number three, block the escalator. Now, I don't use escalators that often, but I'm pretty sure that blocking the escalators is gonna piss people off, no matter where you are in the world. Well, you'd be surprised to know that there is indeed a wrong way to stand on an escalator, at least in the UK. Doesn't matter what country you're in, if you block the escalators, you're gonna piss people off. It is an unspoken rule in this part of the world that if you want to stand still, you should stay on the right-hand side. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what side on the escalator you're actually standing on, just if you see someone in a hurry walking up the escalators, just move out of the way. Number 4. Jump a queue Just like blocking the escalators, I'm pretty sure jumping a queue is considered a bad thing to do, no matter where you are in the world. Many of us don't give much importance to a queue. You know, the ones we see outside a dessert kiosk. Because, well, an ice cream craving can't wait. But don't do that while you're in the UK, simply because that is bad manners. Well, yeah, it's obviously bad manners. But I'm still pretty sure it's like that anywhere in the world. Personally, I don't give a crap. If you want to jump a queue, jump a queue. But you may get shanked by a random roadman who really wanted his cheeky Nandos or Yeezys or something like that. Number 5. Pick up a rented car. What the fuck has a rented car got anything to do with the UK? Well, let's watch to find out. We don't mean to say that driving in this country is illegal, but you can get yourself and others in trouble by driving. Huh, we have created a nice bit of suspense here. We deserve a pat on the back. <coughs> Jokes aside, the thing is that you will have to drive on the left side of the road here. What the hell has this got to do with a rented car? And if you come from a nation where the opposite is the norm, you might have a tough time learning this. This is a good point. If you want to avoid crashing your car in the UK, you should drive on the left side of the road. But this has got nothing to do with a rented car. Number 6. Talk about money. Okay, I don't think anyone really gives a crap if you talk about money a lot. If you want to talk about money, then talk about money. But first find someone who is actually interested in listening to you blabber on about fucking money and how rich you are. People in the UK might feel offended if you ask too many questions about money. Again, most people really don't care. In fact, boasting about your wealth is also not going to be appreciated. So keep the big bucks in your pocket. Just like jumping a queue and blocking the escalators, people are going to be annoyed if you blabber on about how rich you are, no matter where you are in the world. But like I said, nobody really cares. Number 7. Greet inappropriately. Uh, what? I hope they're not trying to imply that all Americans are nonces or predators now, I hope. Meeting someone for the first time and experiencing that awkward situation where you go for a hug while the other stops you with a handshake. Oh, thank God for that. Ever been there? 
if you don't want to find yourself in that situation in the UK, just go for a handshake because they aren't too comfortable making physical contact with strangers. I think most people around the world aren't comfortable with making physical contact with strangers. That shit can be dangerous. Hugging and kissing on the cheek is reserved for people they know well and are comfortable with. If you go up to random strangers and kiss them on the cheek or hug them, then I think you need to be put on the register or a mental asylum, mate. Or preferably both, you weird twat! Oh, and what do you say when someone asks you, how are you? By no means is this a cue that you can start off your saga of nasal allergies if you don't want the person to never see your face again. Every how are you is followed by fine, thank you, and nothing else. Well, yeah, you shouldn't just randomly open up and talk about your feelings to random strangers either. Number 8. Fake their accent. I actually find it hilarious when people fake the British accent. I'll have one posh cigarette, please. Supplemental. Although not all British people are the same, but fuck a minute. People aren't going to like it if you force their accent, and especially when you are doing it all wrong. We're likely just going to laugh at your face, mate. You will make it look like you aren't a part of them, and are desperate to lose your identity and mix with them. Nobody really cares what accent you have. We may make fun of it in a jokingly way like you do of ours, but that's really about it. Number 9. Voice Opinions About Brexit Oh, God. We know that Brexit is the topic of discussion in pretty much the entire world, but you can't be walking around spitting your views about it when you are in the UK. You shouldn't spit any political view at anyone, no matter where you are in the world. Number 10. Mess with the Queen's Guard Well, duh. It's a bit obvious you shouldn't fuck with the Queen's Guards. In fact, it's obvious that you shouldn't fuck with any guard anywhere in the world, unless if you want to get fucked, not literally. Well, maybe, who knows? Did that bushy hat fool you? Yeah, it did, I'm afraid. I tried to use one as a pillow and got fucked up pretty bad. I'm glad you let me know now. Never, we repeat, never touch the guard. Because once you do that, prepare yourself for a world of hurt. Well, yeah, if you touch the Queen's guards, you're gonna get hurt. But like I already said, if you touch any type of guard anywhere in the world, you're gonna get hurt. Subscribe to our channel if you like this video. Right. So this brings it to the end of that video. And all I can say is, is that this video is absolute shite. Either the things in the video are obvious or just complete crap. Although my channel isn't really much better to be honest with you. Obviously this video is catered to mostly Americans who wanted to visit or live in the UK. So Americans. Or people from any other country that isn't the UK are watching this. I give you 10 actual things you shouldn't do in the UK. Number 10. Call cool football soccer. You may get shanked if you do so. Number 9. Not understand sarcasm. You might not get along very well in the UK if you don't understand sarcasm that well. We're always being sarcastic and never really take anything seriously here. Even my channel is sarcastic. Number 8. Disrespect Gregs. If you ever disrespect Gregs while you're in the UK, then you need to lose your British citizenship. Number 7. Get offended by offensive jokes. You probably won't have many British mates if you get offended easily. Number 6. Order Nando's plane. Just never fucking do that. Number 5. Be spasticated slash annoying. Just don't be spasticated slash annoying and you will be fine. Number 4. Not getting meal deals at Tesco's. If you want to do well in the UK, you've always got to get that cheeky £3 meal deal at Tesco's. Number 3. Like Jamie Oliver. Don't ever say that you like Jamie Oliver while you're in the UK, as he's the one who's been fucking with our cheeky meal deals and TV shows. Number 2. Disrespect Roadmen. Don't you ever dare disrespect our beautiful culture! Number 1. And finally, kill someone. You may offend someone if you do so. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, if you want to visit slash live in the UK, make sure you never do those 10 things and I think you'll do just fine. So, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like, remember to subscribe, and goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.